Hey everyone, I'm checking out Stephen Sausage Roll, which is a puzzle game from Ink Repair, and it's supposed to be pretty hard and also costs $30 on Steam. So I have no clue if the price actually is warranted or not, but I'm really curious about the fuss that has been made about the game. So I'm just gonna check it out myself and see what it's about. So we have a map here. Zay to undo or to restart. Oh, that is weird. Um, so, so it actually has a pretty weird movement movement pattern. I'm sure that they that the developer will has integrated that into his uh, level design ideas because it will probably make for some weird situations like if you if you are in this position and you want to turn down you can't just press down you would need to press left to turn left and then you press down to turn down again so if you go down you need to press two different arrows to go down but if you want to turn left you just press one uh, arrow and if you just press down from this location you just walk backwards that might take some uh, adjusting so let's. So apparently, I walked into one of those ghost spirit thingies and started the first level. So what am I gonna do? Uh, I got from the first impressions that it's sort of like a Sokoban game clone thing idea. So I'm just. Uh, I suppose I need to roll the sausage around, and it seems to. Oh wait, I can't step on that. Uh, it needs to be. Burned on all sides, I guess. So the sausage has two sides, a top and a bottom, and this sausage, I'm not sure if there are longer sausages later on, has uh, two elements on the bottom and two on the top. So currently it has the, the bottom two crisp. So let's see what happens if I. Okay, so if I have one element that is burning twice, then it gets. Uh, burned and I can't and I lost the level. Um, what can I? No, that is really weird. How you need to position yourself very specifically. Like if I want to have, if I want to be in this position. I mean, you just saw the kind of movements that I made just to get here. Um, I. So that is a little bit cumbersome. And then in this location I could... Oh yeah, of course it's burned again. But I mean this way I can push the sausage from the side. Which is also a pretty interesting element um, to add. So let's just try something there. I don't think actually I can... I can get it crisp if I roll it to the left side. Because I don't think there's a way I can move it away from that again. So let's just start with that one. Okay, so I burned it on the bottom. I walk. Oh. I think I can't get it down again. Yeah, I think that's impossible. Like, I can't, can't walk onto this area and I cannot go behind it to push it down. So, I would probably need to push it down first. No, that doesn't make. Mm, uh, or maybe. Oh, maybe no. So I can burn the lower, the upper part of this. Oh no, that might work. That might work. Ah, ah, damn it. Yeah, the controls are a little bit weird to get used to. I'm not sure I like them right now because they seem more cumbersome than challenging. Yeah, same thing here. So if I want to be next to the sausage, I need to go back, walk up, and now do this. Yes, and then do that whole thing again. 
Yes, burned. Congrats. Uh, we successfully solved the first level. All right. Uh, that was actually pretty interesting. Uh, I'm still not really sold on the controls, and but I can easily see this becoming uh, quite difficult. So let's just see what the next levels are about. So I cannot. How can I? Oh yeah, right, like this. And obviously, if I now turn, it falls into the water, so that doesn't make any sense. I can now turn, can push it to the side. But how am I going to? I need to get in this position right next to it. Oh, like this. Ah, okay. So this is basically t telling me to walk backwards to position myself. So this level is teaching me to walk backwards. Impressive! I can now walk backwards. Well, maybe I probably will forget again how important this was and need to relearn again if I need it. Um, so I'm burning it crisp. Like this I can roll it down. And now I probably just need to push it. No. Ah, from the other side. Yes, very good. Alright, 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 alright. Getting the hang of this. So what's up next? Uh, so we have a million of those little ghosts, and it seems like... I think there was a wall here before, wasn't there? So solving those levels probably unlocks more areas, which is neat. Always like and need a good overworld. Oh shit. Um So yeah, if I do that obviously the second one gets burned. Huh. Can I... Can I move this sausage out of the way somehow? What happens if I... Yeah, obviously. So this would work. Yeah, but this would... Oh, but that's good to know. I can burn myself at the push one, so that will probably be useful later on. But I need to push this sausage... Ah, oh, wait, not that one. Ah, oh, those controls. I need to push this sausage down, back, up, down. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't push it down here. I would need to push it down... Before, before I, before, no, that, that doesn't even, how, how should I, I'm pretty sure that those how should I possibly do these moments are going to be the name of the game here. Yeah, but now I can't get, now I can't get a single sausage out of this thing again. And I cannot push that sausage down. If I had that sausage just one to the right, I could push it down. No. Oh wait. No. No. Doesn't work. No. 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 Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, how can I get this? I, I'm not sure if I can get the sausage down before. No, I need to push it once. But once it's in that position, I cannot move the sausage at all anymore. Or it will get burned. Which means a ton of issues, because if I move the other sausage onto the frying thing, then I cannot move it 
down. Because if I just slide it down, it will get burned immediately. This is obviously wrong. And now I cannot roll this sausage back. There's no way to roll this back. Yeah, I can't. So if I can't roll it... Like, what I'm trying to figure out if I can do that is to get this roll on the left side one down before I move it onto the grill. But... How... Now I have both here. I could move them back. Now I could move this one there. I roll this to the side. Now I have them separated, but now there's no way to get this roll back on top of the grassy area. Oh, my apologies. Uh, roll, roll. Yeah, now... There's no way... To handle this. Intriguing, intriguing. Uh, intriguing. No, wait, that was the wrong one. So yeah, I mean, I'm in a third level, and I can already see where those um, comments regarding the difficulty are coming from. Part of that difficulty is also currently the the movement, and to ex to exactly judge how my movement. Like, I can't currently evaluate properly how the movement is affecting my... Like, I still need to double-think every movement I make just to make sure that I'm not actually pushing those sausages down in the wrong location. Um, I also can't move it down there. <laughs> Um, but I mean that's also uh, that's only part of it. I mean the, the level design for for the puzzles seems very good. Um, those are very intriguing challenges. Let's just before I'm gonna go crazy with that level, let's just try something else for the sake of this video. So how about this one? Another one with two sausages. <laughs> Let's just, for the sake of this video, check some more levels before I'm gonna close this first impressions bit. Ah, oh, those controls. Two more sausages. One on the right, and one on the left. Uh, no. How about this? Then move all the way to the back. Separate the sausages. Now that the sausages have been thoroughly separated, I. It's obviously burning it. I can't. Get it. Yeah, I got it up. But once it's separated, I can't. Well, actually, there is more on the other side. Oh. 
No. I need to see if the other side makes more sense. Like yeah, it probably seems like I need to push both swords switches on both grill parts. Uh, so I need to now get this back to the other side. Which I could pretty easily. The problem is then getting back doing the same with the other sausage. Now we have this. I mean obviously the other sausage doesn't work on me, but I mean that seems like the way the level needs to go. I think I could also do it from this yeah, I could also start on the left and then move it to the right. And I would need to avoid pushing one sausage down this much, or I cannot get it back up again. So I would try to. I would try to. <laughs> uh, like this, this. Not actually. I would now need to get the lower sausage onto the right side, but I'm not quite sure how. Oh, wait. Let's try something. I don't think that's gonna work either because yeah obviously that's not gonna work out. I was thinking if my maybe push this one back there and then push the sausage over to this but this will obviously get burned the moment I push it over obviously Oh, wait, what? I only have... <laughs> so I only have this island to move. So that is an interesting take on the mechanics. I don't think I can get it back anymore. So how can I move this? Yeah. How can I move this? I can now do this. Now I move this up. Go back. I can move both rows. Both rows. Both rows. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That one was obviously a tad easier than the others. Oh wait, I already tried that one. So what else do we have? Burning. And go back, up, down. Now I need to do the same here. Oh wait. Go up. Now I can move this away from there. I move this up. Ah, oh, and I can't get to it anymore. Mm. Yeah, no, I can't get it down again. No, wait. This was possible here. Oh no, it's the same thing. So now I can't get it down. Yeah. 
I need to burn it. I need to burn it. Let's back up. Roll. Uh, I can also roll both at the same time. That might actually not be a bad idea. Roll it up. Roll it back. Now I need to get the right one out of the way because the right sausage needs to go on the left side. I need to get the right sausage onto the right side. I can't walk through here. So I can do this. Huh. To get this sausage, down, right, no. Well, tricky, very tricky. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I'll stop now because I also don't have much time at the moment. But um, yeah, so for first thoughts, I'm slowly getting used to the controls. They're still a little bit weird, but I mean they're obviously um, integrated into the level design. So oh wait, there's another. Um, they're obviously integrated into the level design, so it does make sense um, to so that they are a little bit weird because it actually will make you think uh, in a different way. Um, regarding the pricing issue, I mean that's always a touchy subject, especially because I mean developers are obviously free to charge whatever they want for their games. Um, but I do need to admit that I do not quite see the value yet. Uh, it's obviously a very challenging game and there might be more into the game, like more mechanics or more intricate design elements that would make me uh, reevaluate that sentence, but uh, obviously more sausages. Um, but I'm not 100% sure um, how much I would recommend to buy this game at. Because, I mean, as I said in the beginning, it's a Sokoban game, or a version of Sokoban, of pushing blocks on certain positions. And it's very well made, and obviously, very, uh, the mechanics are obviously very well thought out. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a very divisive game, uh, especially with the price and the. Perceived high challenge. I mean, I don't think I'm bad at puzzle games, but obviously I was already stuck at the I, I don't even know what it was the third level um, So if this sounds or if this looks appealing to you the mechanics and if you just want to uh, bite into and dig into these uh, sausages Then this is probably a very good Investment for you. I also heard that it's supposed to be pretty long um, We're talking like one review said like 30 hours or something for the content but I'm not 100% sure if that was like uh, Repeated playthroughs. I didn't quite get how he was framing that Anyway, very interesting uh, Yeah, so if that looks like a game that will um that looks like it's worth thirty dollars for you. Then sure, buy ahead. Uh, uh, go, go ahead and buy it. I'm not one hundred percent. I haven't one hundred percent made up my mind about it yet, and I will think about it some more and play some more levels to get a deeper understanding of 
Uh, also the progression of the game, how the levels develop, what kind of mechanics they introduce. And then we'll see about it, how I feel later. Anyway, I hope the video was helpful for you to get a grasp on the game mechanics and how the game might be played. See ya!